Now, the press conference this morning in Indiana clarified what police did not know at the time the chase ended. Now, we have learned Casey White did not shoot himself. He did have minor injuries from that crash into the ditch. The Vanderburg County Sheriff Dave Wedding says Vicki shot herself before any deputies got to the crashed car. The sheriff does say he is aware Vicki spoke to 911 dispatchers briefly before she turned the gun on herself, but the sheriff did not give any details about what was said. Now, Casey White's former attorney says Casey suffers from mental illness and poses a threat to anyone when he's outside of a structured environment of jail and not on his required medication. And because of his impulsive nature to commit a crime, the attorney says there's no way he had the patience to plan the details of this whole escape. News 19's Archie Snowden spoke to the attorney who says the details of the escape was not something he would do. Absolutely, Greg. His former appeals attorney, Dale Bryant, tells me that when Casey White is on his antipsychotic medication, he was all right, and although he couldn't share the exact diagnosis, Brian says that Casey White's history of violent, impulsive acts didn't allow him to detail an escape plan. There's no way he planned this whole escape. Dale Bryant was Casey White's attorney through the Limestone County Court of Appeals on a number of convictions in 2019 stemming from a crime spree in 2015. White was sent to Donaldson Correctional Facility in Bessemer. Bryant said he never knew what White was capable of when he was taking his medication. And my interactions with him there at Donaldson Prison, they also had him uh, a medication for an antipsychotic medication. He had earned, earned the trust of the Limestone County Jail while he was here back in 2015 to 19 to be uh, awarded a trustee position where he has a little bit more freedom in the jail. After his confession to the stabbing of Connie Ridgeway, White was transferred to Lauderdale County to answer a judge. While waiting to face the judge, he escaped in a well thought out plan with Vicki White. This plan, this, case, this escape uh, was detailed, it was thorough. Brian says that all of Casey White's prior crimes leading up to the escape were spur of the moment, a heat of passion, and probably not well thought out for more than 10 minutes maximum. It leads him in his interactions to believe that more than likely the escape was planned by Vicki White. The escape in general is exactly what Casey wants to do is get out of prison, right? Um, but, but it is the well thought out and the planning is, it's again, nothing that is in Casey's norm. Now, Dale Bryant said that he feared that White would react when cornered by law enforcement, and indeed he did plan a shootout with Evansville police in Indiana. Greg?